If you can hang a picture, you can hang your vertical cellular shades in no time. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Grab these simple tools and let's get started. Depending on the shade you ordered, the pieces or parts you have may be a little different, but that's okay. You'll follow basically the same steps I'll go through here to hang them. Just be sure to check the instructions that came with your product before you start. I'm installing a left stack vertical cellular shade as an outside mount. If your shade stacks on the right, the installation will be the same, but mirrored. If you're using extension brackets, the first step is to combine each mounting bracket with an extension bracket. Use a flathead screwdriver to tighten the screw and nut together. Now measure in 6 to 8 inches from each side, making a mark with your pencil on the top edge of the window. Make evenly spaced marks between the outer marks for any additional brackets you may have. To determine how high to place the brackets, you need to figure out how much taller your shade is than your window. For example, my window is 84 inches tall and my shade is 89 inches tall, so I have a difference of 5 inches. Measure this distance above each of your previous marks and make another mark. If you're installing over a sliding glass door, add another quarter inch to make sure the shade clears the floor. Center the top of a bracket at each mark and use the holes to mark where the screws will go. Before inserting the screws, it's a good idea to pre-drill the holes first. If you're mounting the brackets to a hollow surface like ours, create screw holes with a large drill bit. Use a hammer to tap a wall anchor into each screw hole. Then line up each bracket with the holes and insert the screws. When all the brackets are installed, use a level to make sure they are all straight and aligned. Now you're ready to put up the headrail. Hold it so that the front faces you and set the front groove of the headrail onto the front of the brackets. Before snapping it into place, slide it left or right until it is centered over the window. In one motion, push up and back until you hear it click into place on the brackets. The next step is to prepare the vertical rails. Insert the stationary rail bottom bracket into the stationary rail. Leave about a quarter inch of the bottom bracket exposed. Next, slide the moving rail bracket into the top of the moving rail. Insert the snap pin through both the rail and the bracket to lock them together. With the vertical rails now ready, use your Phillips screwdriver to remove the left end plate. Carry the vertical rails and fabric as one unit to the window or door. Notice in the headrail there are two channels, a front channel and a rear channel. Slide the wheels of the moving rail into the rear channel and slide the wheels of the fabric clips into the front channel. The top stationary rail bracket has two slots that grip the rear channel of the headrail. Position the slots onto the rear channel as shown, then twist the rail 90 degrees to lock it into place. To make sure it's flush with the end of the headrail, place the tip of a flathead screwdriver against the top of the bracket and gently tap it with your hammer. Replace the left end plate when both vertical rails are attached to the headrail. Locate the cord coming from the top of the moving rail and unwind the cord from the end plate. Slide the plastic tensioner at the end of the cord into the slot in the front of the headrail. With your screwdriver, attach the right end plate using the small screw already attached to the headrail. The next step is to mount the bottom of the stationary rail. Use a level to make sure it's vertical from both the side view and the front view. While the rail is level, use your pencil to mark through the bottom bracket onto your mounting surface. If you used extension brackets for the headrail, you'll need to use one here too. Center it at your mark and use your pencil to mark where the screws will go. Pre-drill the screw holes first. Place a small bolt upwards where your rail will be set and then secure the extension bracket to the wall with two screws. Hover the stationary rail over the small bolt, then lower the bracket onto the bolt. When it's in position, use a small nut to secure the brackets together. Now, let's adjust the cord tensioner. Pull on the end of the cord until the slip knot is released. Continue to pull the cord through the tensioner until tension is created. Then retie the knot and clip any excess cord with your scissors. The moving rail should slide easily, yet there should be enough tension to hold the shade in place at any position. If the rail does not move smoothly, decrease the tension by sliding the tensioner toward the end plate on the moving side of the headrail. 
If the moving rail isn't staying in place, increase the tension by sliding the tensioner away from the end plate until the moving rail holds its position but still moves easily when opening and closing the blind. Check the vertical alignment of the moving rail. If the rail is not perfectly vertical, adjust the lever on the moving rail bracket with a Phillips head screwdriver. To adjust the bottom of the moving rail to the right, loosen the left screw a half turn and tighten the right screw a half turn. To adjust the bottom of the moving rail to the left, loosen the right screw a half turn and tighten the left one a half turn. Now all that's left are the finishing touches. Attach the valance clips to the head rail as shown here. Make sure they are placed three inches in from each side of the rail and any additional clips are spaced evenly between the outer clips. To prepare your valance, insert a valance corner clip onto each end of the valance. Place a lock pin into the small hole in the corner clip and rotate it with a screwdriver until it locks onto the valance. Slide the valance returns onto the corner clips and lock them together with the provided lock pins. Set the top of the valance onto the top of the clips first, then rotate downward until each clip catches the valance. Press firmly against each clip to make sure they snap into place. The last step is to attach the handle onto the moving rail. Line up the holes of the handle with the holes of the moving rail and secure the handle onto it with your screwdriver. And that's it! We hope you enjoy your beautiful new vertical cellular shade from Select Blinds. If you have any questions or need any additional help, please see your products installation guide on our website or just give us a call. We're here to help.